All right, so with uh, with the world ending, ending, yes, we, is it? yeah. Earlier we talked about like another episode about a fucking condo underground. Like we Bunkers. are preparing for some crazy shit. The world is going through some crazy shit. Let's talk about happiness right now. Thank God, happiness. And how it's gone from this world. Ah, oh. yeah. How happiness. Hey, do you is. like happiness? Penis. penis. I don't think bar. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <gasps> now you got it. Penis. I like mine. I was about to say. Yeah. I like mine. Yes. My happiness. Happiness. I happiness. Okay. I happiness. I happiness. Yes. I happiness. My. <laughs> I'm the youngest one in the room. What? <laughs> But yeah, happiness is very... All I hear is penis now, <laughs> god damn it. Penises are very elusive and very fleeting. Would you really? say? Would you agree? Mm. That they move around and stuff? Like, you can't happiness. get me! Happiness, happiness. happiness. Oh, oh happiness. happiness. No, a penis. Penis? Wait, what are oh, we talking about? <laughs> I'm so confused. Penis. I threw the fucking wrench. <laughs> we'll never get through this article. <laughs> Penises are hard to grab. Yes, very. <laughs> Especially if you do the thing where you do the bounce, bounce, and they're like trying to grab it. Happiness is fleeting. Hmm. Happiness know. is never permanent, is what I'm saying. It's not permanent. Yeah, well, sadness not. isn't either. I know. It's like. You but some people love, love that it. shit. Some people love it, yeah. Fuck yeah. I feel like more people like it than happiness. Yeah. yeah. I think people like a misery is like a good company. True. You wrote that? But, no. But yeah, so. I don't know. I, I feel like there's a lot of like unhappiness in the world, and I think a lot of people are trying to seek answers and find happiness and stuff. And I came across this article. Bitch, you don't find happiness; you manufacture it. You manufacture it. That's that's true. You, How do you say some profound shit while fucking <laughs> scratching your fucking back? That's while while having one eye twitching and shit. <laughs> do you ever do that when you scratch and then you're like, oh, are it your feels shoes so on? Good. No. <laughs> Motherfucker. It never is. Why? It's just you say some profound shit, you know, like it's very valid. It was That's very true. smart, very wise, but <laughs> you just look crazy. From my angle, sometimes it looks nuts because like he's saying some like crazy shit. He's like being all masculine and like talking about some shit and like like punishing people and then but his toes. underneath the table he's like sitting like like this and like he's like all like stretched out like this. And I'm like, really paint funny. me like one of your French girls. <laughs> he was saying that earlier, but his feet weren't even touching the ground. Kill you, <laughs> <laughs> I'll fucking kill your ass, motherfucker! I'll fucking kill you, bitch! <laughs> but yeah, you were saying uh, happiness is manufactured. Yeah! What does that mean to you? You have to, uh, so feelings and things are, uh, um, are, are, are generated from our minds and our hearts, like inside, right? Even though we can react to whatever's going on out there, but I think people want to search for it, like they need to go and get inspired, you need to feel something from the outside in, but it's generated from the in. So like, for example, um, your brain is experiencing all these senses that's happening in your body. Like if you taste, if you smell, if you hear, all of this is just like senses that you're experiencing. And you're, you can choose to experience it or, or, or you can choose to make sense of what you're experiencing. Right. I don't know if I'm making any sense. But. Yeah, it's like a... a it's very yeah. fleeting and elusive. Yeah, like we can all see the same thing, but how we experience it internally is completely different. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, but a lot of people think that happiness is something that you get or obtain or like like with materialism, right? Like you go, oh, when I get that car, I'm gonna be so happy. Yeah. Mm. When I get that, or like even goal chasing, right? You're like, oh, when I finally get that job I want, I'm gonna be so happy. But you never That's are. That's true. Yeah. You want for a split second are, and then... Yeah. It's fleeting. But it but it goes away eventually, like getting the new it car should. and the car goes away. Yeah, uh, waiting for it is the most fun part. Right. When you're like, oh yeah. shit, it's coming, it's coming. Then you get it and you're like, cool. That's true. Day or two and you're gone. That's it. That's true. Yeah, so uh, one of the reasons why happiness is so fleeting and elusive, what Joe was saying, it's it, happiness itself is adaptive. It's depending on where your starting yeah. point is, uh, you know, getting, say for example, uh, you know, we want to be, we want to make a movie. And maybe the idea of making a movie right now uh, will bring us happiness, you know? And once we get there, we're like, yay, yeah, we're happy. But then the adaptive part about happiness and sadness is that once we have made a movie and then we're at that plateau, say if there's a plateau there, then we view ourselves as 
we have only made one movie. Yeah, what do you want to do next? And then and we're now all of a sudden we're back to sadness and we need to find another way to get our happiness back. Yeah. So it's always adaptive depending on where your position is and kind of like where you're looking mm -hmm. forward to, it's always going to be uh, uh, proportionate to that, right? Yeah. yeah. I think it's also where, like you said, where it's, it's things that you look forward to or you put like, a happiness on like a goal marker or whatever but instead of just being happy with where you are now and like the progress of now even though you still want those things mm -hmm. you know I feel like that's where people are like and people just like you said people or I don't know who said it, they like to be sad where I'm like I feel like yeah they, they purposely do things that make them even more sad maybe subconsciously yeah but like I don't go and like put on sad music because I know it gives me different types of feelings I put on happy music because I want to be happy or I yeah, also look really. at life in a different way than most people. So. I, I remember watching like nonstop negative documentaries and like super violent videos and I mean I mean uh, shows and like after a whole week of binge watching crazy shit, I could feel myself feeling just sad and the world's like in a bad place and I feel like everything's fucked up and I was like oh shit, I didn't monitor the shit that was going in my brain and what mm. I was registering and so like for example. If you arguing every fucking day on Twitter, right? You're gonna think that people are so confrontational and so fucked up and you're gonna be really depressed. But like, if you don't control any of those actions, then uh, you kind of self-induce uh, your, your negative experiences without knowing it. Or just mm -hmm. going on social media in general. Like you don't yeah, even have to really argue, it's just, but it's like... Just reading shit things. comments. Yeah, all yeah. you see is negativity in the world going on. All you see is people living a better life. And for you, you're like, oh damn, I don't have any of these things. All I see is negativity. And then you're just like, damn, my life sucks. This world sucks. That's true. Yeah. Another reason uh, for, ha uh, for people trying to find happiness and unable to attain it is that a lot of us, we view happiness as one thing. But happiness is not necessarily just one thing. It's many factors in our lives that bring us happiness. For example, uh, this article brings up the example of, uh, you know, one, some people might choose career and marriage as their top priorities and they'll keep chasing that and work at that. But in order to have a solid career and to really develop a, a strong marriage, you have to let go. Say when, when you were younger, you were partying, hanging out with your homies and stuff like that. Part of that has to die in order to find the happiness that you're reaching for with the marriage and your career. Or maybe you say you forego the marriage, you know, and have a little space there to maybe party a little bit more and hang with your friends. But then if you ever feel lonely and sad and not necessarily having a, you know, a partner to confide in 100%, then that's kind of like the bargain you're, you're going down, you know, you're going towards. And so it's like you kind of have to analyze your own life and the co different components in terms of finding what happiness is to you. Do you guys listen to uh, Jocko's podcast? Jocko Willem, the Navy SEAL? So Jocko! I don't, I don't, I don't listen to him uh, either, but when he comes on Joe Rogan, I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> but it that would have been funny, he just stops. <laughs> I don't listen to him either. So weird. <laughs> he no, didn't it, care about what you just but, said. But he talks about this concept where he calls good, which is like a very common concept in the military that I really, really liked. So, and then, like in military, like when something happens, like I run out of ammo, good, I'll kill him with my knife. Or it's fucking freezing, <laughs> good. I, I want it to be harder, you know? So everything, you're constantly conditioning yourself and practicing. Bitty swag. Any challenge, any negativity, you embrace it. And so you're almost like exercising that happiness muscle so that your happiness cardio is insanely strong and really, really good. Almost like in the 300 movie where they're like, we're gonna, we'll cover the sky with arrows and then we'll fight in the shade. You know, it's kind of like that concept. And that's that concept I, I really, really like because I think like people think that happiness is stimulated from the outside, but it really is. How you look at stuff. How you look at stuff, it's your perspective on the inside, but if your happiness muscle is never gets worked out, mm. it, takes a, it takes a lot for you to be happy. But if you constantly exercise it and everything is good, your car gets scratched or things that seemingly are supposed to only have a negative emotion, but you're able to constantly be able to manufacture that positive emotion and you can be a much happier person. I also think that our society now has this like, illusion or like this weird thing of like you have to be happy like I have to find myself I have to find my happiness I have to be happy like there's so much pressure to constantly be happy um, and I don't think that's very human yeah like 
24 seven, you're always fucking happy. We think that that's how humans should live. Like I'm always in my fucking zone. Like I'm in, I'm in my passions, I'm doing this. And it's like, how, like that's fucked up. That's yeah. weird. It's, like, like, it's not life. Yeah. Because life isn't linear like that. No! It's so illusional like social media, right? Everyone looks like they're always having a blast on social media, doing all this crazy shit, when they're probably just at home posting up old photos. I wanted to uh, just especially learn about a lot of things now during the, the whole quarantine time and just like how everything is done. I love America. Like it's, I don't think I'd ever want to move, but like if I did decide to move, I think I would go to like Finland or like Denmark or something, or like a Norwegian co uh, country because they're, they always rank um, Number one right. on the happiness is, is like the happiness index that the mm -hmm. the UN puts out. And it's the it's a very like they they interview a lot of people and you from get those there countries. And they're like, who's this non-white guy? <laughs> <laughs> no, they have other people there. There's a lot of like other cultures and stuff. But then uh, one of the things is, is like they measured uh, income and like once you have enough income to uh, survive and like make money, more income doesn't bring more happiness. Yeah, you know, and that's like one thing that we're taught here where it's. Um, it's about hustling, doing this, not stopping, where that's not really where you find happiness. And a lot of people do, but it's also that most people aren't doing it. They, they think that they have to, and they think like, they're putting all the stress of like, I gotta stop doing this, I gotta stop doing this. Like the them. hustle. Yeah, the, the hustle, hustle mentality. Like, yeah. And they practice this thing yeah. called uh, huga. It's, it's spelled like H-Y-G-G-E or something, but the whole thing is like to indulge and like take part of like relaxing and uh, eating those foods that are bad for you, practicing sinful um, pleasures and all these things. And sinful pleasures? Anything, anything, yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, but it's like being okay with doing that stuff and like embracing it, you know, mm -hmm. and instead of being like, oh, I ate this, now I'm, I'm bad. No, you're purposely intentionally eating it or doing those things because you know it's bad. And it's like you're, you're okay being okay with, okay it. with it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here it's like I ate this cookie. My 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 fucking diet's ruined. I'm gonna be a fat piece of shit. And these people aren't gonna love me because I'm fat. Uh, I gotta do this, this, this. I could increase the happiness of men by sixty percent. How? More blowjobs. Mm. Where'd you come up with sixty? <laughs> I just threw it out there. Not sixty-nine. Okay. Oh, missed opportunity, bro. <laughs> yeah, but the last reason why happiness is so fleeting and elusive is that we also uh, uh, compare our happiness to past and present. Mm. So we always look at, statistically, a lot of people look at the past through rose-colored glasses. We kind of remember the feelings of a certain time that brought us happiness, and we're always trying to measure up our present to that past. Or oh, maybe why that's why I feel like I'm happy because it sucked back then, so everything's awesome right now. True. That's great, so maybe we should have really bad pasts on purpose. Shout out to my mom <laughs> for that horrible childhood. Hey, some people will blame their horrible childhood, but if you can look back and go, hey, you set the bar so low that everything is amazing. Life is amazing. Thanks, mom. Thanks, mom. <laughs> Unless you're traumatized. True.